Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel War Paint. I'm Terry Michelle. I'm so excited to be bringing you this video. As I say with every video, this one is special though. I'm bringing you finally, like why didn't I ever do this before? My top five. It's a top five series. This week it's foundations. And it is doubly special because you're not getting just my top five foundations. You're going to get my friend's top five foundations too. I am in do- I am in doing. I am in doing this collaboration. I am doing this in collaboration with my friend Erica from Brains of Beauty. It is a collaboration reunion. Erica is my friend, first and foremost. Second and foremost, she was my first ever collaboration here on YouTube and I was like dying that she- I collabed with her. Let's talk foundations before I ramble on um, too much, but I'm excited to be doing this collab with her. Please stick around because this is, like I said, a series and can't stop, won't stop when it comes to this because it's going to be fun. Alright, so I've done a mixture of drugstore high-end for the foundations. I'm not going to talk, talk about them in particular order, but I will give my number one last. So let's just jump into this. Uh, the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundation. I really like this foundation. Why? Is because it's really easy. It's a really good go-to for me. Um, this one's in medium. This one was really good for me when I had oily skin. I just moved to California. My skin has changed to dry as a desert. And this foundation though is really, really, really smooth. And it's medium coverage. It's just something you can throw on and it's like my, what would I call this? It's just like I can go to this and know it's not going to fail me um, when my skin's like super oily. Lately I've just been using it to set my foundation um, and that's it. But when I was like really oily I would just like throw it on and it was really nice and light and just easy for summer and that's when I was really using it. And now it's um, you know, really good for setting my T-zone and that kind of stuff, but I'm not oily right now, so I couldn't use this all over my face because it will catch on dry skin, so it's really good for oily, and I used it all summer last year, so I definitely recommend it because I know it works, even though I'm not using it right now, and then, if you did not know this, I've been on a no-buy, I just went off of it, I was on a no-buy for six months and two days, and so therefore I was forced to shop my stash, and I fell in love again with an oldie but a goodie, and that was, that is, the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. This is literally the foundation I was wearing when I started my YouTube channel. And I was like, well, I probably shouldn't just be wearing Revlon. I should be wearing something really fancy. So I went out and bought the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, but literally, like, I felt like they were definitely dupes for each other. I never even talked about it. Like, I should have done a new video, but I didn't. And I definitely, like have evolved in my foundation so like I want to try the Makeup Forever foundation again because it might you know be better and, you know I always say this is my rule of thumb I may be showing you drugstore foundations I do think that they're good they're in my top five but I really think that you should invest in a foundation even if it means like eight dollars at the drugstore one that really really works because that is the base of your whole look so it's super important so anyway this foundation is really thin it gives medium to full coverage it's really natural looking it has a satin finish I'll show you how runny it is on my hand here this you're going to want to use a, a stippling brush with or a flat top kabuki or an angle top kabuki a kabuki of any top that you want Want, that is what's going to work best with this. I wouldn't use a beauty blender because it's going to dilute the product and make it even thinner and more of a um, light coverage foundation. Use that sibling brush girl. Trust me, it'll be a dream. So the next foundation I have been in love with and this has been really a go-to right now for me with dry skin. Um, with oily skin, I really didn't have any issues. I just had to like really diligently set this foundation. Um, it is the Bravi Brown a Stick Skin Foundation Stick. This thing, like, does not get enough love here on YouTube. I feel like I'm the only one that gets love. And then after I did some, my friends gave it some love. This is the shade Beige, which is not my shade right now. This is too light. This stuff is just so creamy, so smooth. I blend it out with a brush once again. So I use, um, there's a, a cosmetic skin, like skin perfecting brush. It's like a flat top kabuki. If you can hear my fridge. By the way, this isn't my typical background. 
this may be the first time you're seeing this and I'll talk about it in an upcoming chit chat get ready with me why I'm sitting in here but anyway sorry if you hear my fridge I didn't even think about that like my fridge my fridge is talking right now anyway this foundation is really good it is medium to full coverage totally buildable perfection on your face like it is so good it's so expensive for that stick and that's the downside to this foundation I've had it less than a year this one's almost almost gone I feel like you use it up super duper quickly and it's really expensive but there isn't a comparative product to this and for dry skin homies like this is so good for maturing skin fantastic I think this would be really well do really well just like if you have wrinkles like I do on my forehead which I am not afraid to show them I am afraid to show them. I just can't. I hide them suckers. Um, it will it will get into them wrinkles, but if you set them, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is, my friend Emily sent this to me. Oh my, it's getting everywhere. It's the Dior Forever Compact Foundation. Um, I have it in the shade 020. This is like my shade when I'm not tan at all. This powder foundation is amazing. It gives you full coverage for real. Um, you use it with a kabuki brush. That's what I use it with and I think that's why I busted up actually. Mm, it came with a sponge but I didn't get the sponge. Um, like I said, my friend Emily said that to me. It is just a beautiful powder foundation you can actually, like I always was like, powder foundation? Say what? Like I'm not gonna just use powder on my face but until I met her and she's amazing. I would totally use her just on my face. She's expensive, but she's beautiful. I love her. I love it. I love it. It's all crushed up and all I can do is set my foundation with it now. But I want another one. I want it so bad. It's so pretty. Just beautiful. I love it. I love it. My second to last foundation, you guys, is looking shaggy. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I think I've almost, okay, gotten like halfway through this product. I feel like I'm using a lot of this every time I put it on my face and like one ounce is going a lot quicker than most of my foundations. But I use this like every day now. And I really like it. Like it's, it's good. It's really, really matte. But I'm really, really dry, you guys. I'm really, really dry. And I wish I was really oily like last year because I think this foundation will be the bomb day to go. But I'm really dry. It still works. I still like the matte look. You know, and I know you, maybe you should embrace oiliness or like brace, embrace sweatiness. I am a sweater, okay, you guys? Oil is a different than sweating. I sweat a lot. I sweat at work like a maniac and this stuff doesn't come off. Um, I don't sweat like a maniac, but you know what I mean? Like, literally, I walk into work, it's 80, 30 degrees in there, and I have to start physical labor, and my mustache just starts in. It starts beating up, and this stays on my skin, so it's good. It's good. This one is in Golden Beige. This is actually darker than my skin tone. I was just telling my friend Leslie that I typically match my foundation to my actual face, not like my neck, and I don't self tan my neck and I just bronze it up. Um, so this is a little bit darker, but it's really good, you guys. It's super yummy from the drugstore. It's yummy, like I wanna eat it. Um, it is full coverage for sure, for sure. And what I would recommend for sure <laughs> is using a blood, a blood, blood a beauty blender with this one because it's such a thick foundation um to blend it out you need to like kind of um what do you call it you need to thin this sucker out because if you go in with a brush and it's synthetic it's just gonna just cake on I feel like and the beauty blender if you use it damp enough it's just gonna blend it out beautifully it's so nice see how thick it is like the other one was running down my hand not this one girl this one's thick as thick gets okay and it's beautiful coverage um but beauty blender is the way to go like and if all else fails if you guys don't have a beauty blender if you don't have a brush girl your hands are your greatest tool for real like people don't use their hands enough i don't think because like with the bobby Brown foundation too like using your hands is a beautiful way to apply that foundation even though i said to use a brush use your fingers like it really it really does something so my number one holy grail homegirl foundation of all time until they come out with a miracle foundation that changes my life drastically like 
drastically you guys is Estee Lauder Double Wear if you're not new to my channel you already know this was my very first bottle of my Estee Lauder Double Wear this is how much I love this I have my very first bottle my other foundation has a MAC pump on it and it's just like not looking good so I keep this to show in videos Estee Lauder Double Wear is a matte foundation it is long wearing just perfection in a bottle. If you're oily skin girl, look no further. If you've been looking for the foundation that is going to mattify you, that is going to make you look perfect, flawless, this is your foundation. I really, you guys, like, I love full coverage foundation. I feel like if I'm going to put something on my face, like, don't I just want to cover up every imperfection? Like, I don't, I don't really go for the skin look and I uh, today it's funny like I have the I'm doing this foundation video I'm actually doing a review on a foundation not today but I'm testing it I'm testing the long lasting 25 hour Rimmel London foundation and that is what I have on my face today it's just funny because I don't have any of my top foundations on um but I'm just telling you if you're an oily skinny girl if you've been just seeking out like the best thing ever just try this one it may not be the best thing ever for you but just get a sample of it you can get a sample a 10 day sample at macy's of estee lauder double wear it's 36 dollars i believe and it's well worth your money it's so good like their hype behind this when you see when you saw it on youtube when it you know really got hyped up it's true and I didn't buy this because of YouTube. I bought it because of a friend's recommendation. She literally went to Macy's, got the sample, put it on her face the next day, went out and bought the bottle right after her first application. So she's like, you have to try it. She's like, no, you just have to buy it. So I literally just bought it. I didn't even get a sample. And I just love it. I'm in the shade Tawny. I like it all times. Um, really, like that's kind of a tanner color, but it really goes... It just matches me all the time. It doesn't matter if I'm self-tanned or not self-tanned. I can, it just works. So they can really match you. They have a huge shade range. So that's like one thing with some of these foundations, like drugstore foundations, there's not a huge shade range. And I'm telling you, Estee Lauder can match you. And I should be their spokeswoman. Do they know how much I love their product? I love it so much. It's so good. So definitely hands down homegirl number one up there top five erica's channel is linked below don't forget to go over and hit just hit the subscribe button she has wonderful tutorials you know that i don't like post tutorials all the time she is over there posting tutorials all the time she does really good reviews and she's a nail girl of mine so if you guys are into nails erica's your girl she's going to teach you how to do your nails teach you really awesome tutorials on just like trendy nail things Majiggers that I just I watch every single one of her nail tutorials, but she does a wonderful job I just adore her. She's a great friend of mine go over hit the subscribe button tell her I sent you and get excited because next week we have another top five and I'm not gonna tell you what it is You just have to come back and see so if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button Don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter tumblr and Facebook I'm on all of those and mostly Instagram so come over say hi and um, you know follow me over there that's the word follow me over there and you'll see more of my life so anyway I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you real soon okay bye